Tiger, O oh tiger, wherefore art thou tiger? Hello there. Uh, I'm sick as a dog today. I've got the flu. So uh, if my voice is sounding a little bit weird, I'm sorry about that. But I still wanted to just record a brief video and uh, share some movies that I picked up with you guys. And they're all going to be of the lovey-dovey persuasion. So here we go. First one I picked up is Romeo and Juliet, or Romeo plus Juliet. This is the 1996 version with uh, Leo DiCaprio and uh, Claire Danes. Uh, the reason I picked this up is not because Valentine's Day is coming up. It's because uh, I recently saw the new version of Macbeth with Michael Fassbender, and I thought that was really cool. So uh, I felt like picking this up again. It's been a long time since I've seen this, and it's going to be fun to revisit this movie because I never I always kind of like this one. I don't know. I don't think it's like a masterpiece, but I... I think it's enjoyable. I like the fact that they've taken this classic Shakespeare play uh, or tragedy and brought it into the modern day world. I kind of like when they do things like that. So yeah, Romeo and Juliet. As you can tell, I'm wearing my Cannibal Corpse shirt to offset the lovey-dovey nature of this video. And I picked up some Disney movies as well. First one is Winnie the Pooh. The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, a classic from 1977. That's right, seriously though, this is really good. It's a really well-made animated film, and I think all uh, children and people who are children at heart should enjoy this movie. I have a niece who's about two years old. I think she'll really come to appreciate this one. And last but not least, I picked up Fantasia 2000, which I rewatched just yesterday. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with what Fantasia is, there's an original called Fantasia from the 1940s, and there's Fantasia 2000, which came out in the year 2000. It's these uh, sequences of animation set to classical music. So you've got these big, broad, sweeping pieces of classical music with these beautiful animated sequences. And the most famous is probably The Sorcerer's Apprentice with Mickey Mouse, which a lot of people have probably heard of, but they've probably never seen the actual sequence. I'm willing to bet. But yeah, uh, just a very aesthetic, pleasing, different type of experience. And I think the 2000 version is a lot tighter and easier to sit through than the original, which is like over two hours, I think. This is like 75 minutes, so it's a bit easier to just enjoy this uh, rather quickly. I really think this one gets better and better the further it goes along. So it kind of culminates in this beautiful sequence, with the, the Firebird sequence, which is just uh, look that up on YouTube. It's just amazing. Uh, Fantasia 2000 Firebird. Uh, go give a search on that. Alright, uh, that was my brief video for today. Uh, just those three movies that I picked up. Let's reiterate. It was Fantasia 2000. Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. No Blu-ray collection is complete without it. And Romeo plus Juliet from 1996. Uh, I've also got some very exciting things coming in in a couple of months, including, I'm actually going to mention this now, I'm going to spoil it for you, the uh, Steelbook edition of Spectre, the uh, complete Hunger Games collection, and the Steelbook of Star Wars The Force Awakens. So I'm really looking forward to that one. At some point this year, I'm probably going to try to make a complete Steelbook collection video as well. Okay, uh, have a good one, and I hope you are all in better health than I am. Take care.